I'm Ella and I'm the Plants Meow and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing an unboxing from Loxa Plant Cellar. So I've done one of these before, but I've been really looking forward to doing another unboxing. There's this one particular plant I've been looking at for a while. I've been trying not to buy as much, but I finally decided I really want this plant and so I placed this order. And of course if you're placing an international order, it's usually best to buy a few plants at a time. That way you're getting your shipping money's worth. So today I have those plants, very excited to present them to you <laughs> and I'm very excited to actually see them in person. And so the plant that I've been really looking forward to, I've named Willow. So hopefully she looks in good condition or my <laughs> little heart will break. <laughs> All right, so usually how the sheller packs their plants is everything is in just one big giant bag, which I typically like because it's not plants in individual bags, so they're not compacted to the point where there's absolutely no air, so they still have breathing room. But this is actually totally different than the last time I got it. So the last time they were just free floating in this bag with nothing on their roots. So I'm kind of surprised that they actually have stuff on their roots this time. It's a very compact way to ship. Like you really wouldn't think there's as many plants as there is in these bundles. <laughs> they all feel very wet. Hopefully not too wet. But we'll deal with that. These look great. I was actually worried it was going to be too wet, but these roots are pretty dry. Yeah. Okay, so this is my first plant. I believe this is Willow. She's a bit smushed right now. So once I clean her up, oh yeah, this is definitely Willow. <laughs> so look at the gorgeousness of this leaf. These, this vein pattern is what really drew me to this one. So I'm very, very excited to have this one. Absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> but when I clean this up, I'm definitely gonna show you better shots of these. Just right now, it's a bit difficult. They're just a bit crumpled. That's in very great shape. So it's probably the biggest plant in the shipment. But I've got some really cool ones that I'm very excited about. Oh, and I didn't mention, but Willow is an unknown anthurium. <laughs> so I suspect it's some kind of hybrid. And that just really goes to the rest of the shipment. So Loxa is wonder a wonderful plant supplier, but for anthuriums, they're really just a bunch of unknown hybrids. So you're just kind of kind of have to accept the fact that you don't know what they are, but I've gotten some really awesome ones from her that I'm absolutely in love with. So I'm very happy to just get some more and yeah. So this particular anthurium I got because it had this really dark contrast. So the leaves are very dark, the veins are very bright, and I absolutely love it. And this one I call Jasper, <laughs> and I feel like it suits him very well. He's very stunning. I like plants that look a little bit intimidating. <laughs> like, ugh, that's just too gorgeous. <laughs> Oh my god! What? Okay. 
Okay, so for this particular order, there was four plants that I had named that I was sure I was keeping, and three plants I bought extras just to kind of make it worth my while to put this order through. And also, if I didn't quite like them as much when I got them, I was fully content with selling them when springtime came around. And this is one of those plants, and <laughs> let me tell you, it just did not photograph well because it's not going anywhere. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is incredible. Just the, looking at these smaller leaves, the hue they have, every single leaf here has like this purplish underside. Holy crap. Oh my God. I love the roundness. This is so cute. I wish I had a name for you right now, but what? That is so pretty. So I got it for its roundness, but I just, it looks so much like lime color in the photo that I saw. And this is such a shimmery, oh God, it has just so many hues. It's beautiful. And the back, I don't even can tell, but it has like this iridescent plummy, like, not even plummy, like it's just like this pinkish kind of thing going on. And it's on all of the leaves, like, holy crud. Gosh, <laughs> I am thoroughly surprised at this plant. I am so in love with this. Gosh, see, this is the fun part about ordering like plants that <laughs> you've never seen in person. Sometimes you don't know what you're gonna get. And honestly, like for the most part, I haven't been disappointed. But it's like plants like these that no intention of keeping. I'm gonna take some really good photos of this <laughs> and show you. And it's like with all three of these plants, they were obviously not wishless plants because they're just unknown hybrids. But seeing them in person, I'm like, these are some of my favorite plants that I've just, I don't even understand. <laughs> like you would think like you feel relatively like fulfilled in like the amount of plants you have. And then you just see something new and it's just like, well, heck, if that exists, it's like what else exists out there? And I don't even know. <laughs> But honestly, the same time I placed this unboxing, another seller reached out to me and I have that unboxing coming up. And after that, I am cooling the jets. <laughs> so yeah, but I've been really excited about this. So I'm really excited to just kind of see the rest of these and just see like how they meet my expectations, whether they exceed them because exceeding them is the best part of this. <laughs> Like you just see something you've never seen before and it's incredible. So this particular plant is one that I've named Echo, and it has this kind of round shape here with this little wisp here. I have another plant that I got from um, the seller that has a wisp that I really liked, and I've just gotten just, there's just something about it that's super cute to me. And I'm excited to have another plant like that. But that velvety sheen, just stunning. Like, I just can't wait to open these. I've been thinking about this the last few days. I've been so excited. Oh gosh, okay. So this had a new leaf on the way. Fortunately, that's probably not stunted. The newest leaf here is pretty much gone, but the leaf behind it is still good. And it has a new leaf here. Don't know if it'll survive, but we shall see. This one I got because I really love the sinus here, but as you can tell, this leaf is 100% a goner. <laughs> and here is the vi viable leaf. And it is one that I haven't named, 
So we shall see. I think this is one that I would definitely keep in my collection for some time to see how it grows because it's still quite a young plant. All right, so we got two more here and this is one I also haven't named, but gosh, it's freaking adorable. It's so round. Aww. But look how round this leaf is. Just so stinking cute. So <laughs> this is another one that I can't see myself parting with, particularly right away. It's really difficult for me to be like, an anthurium is not interesting or not cute or not perfect. It's a bit of a struggle. But also your girl can't be out here placing like seven plant orders every time. So there needs to be a give and take. <laughs> it's funny because I really didn't even want any more and then I just placed this order to get the one plant and I decided to get more and I, was, I justified it by saying I could sell the ones I didn't want and then <sighs> I just made it very difficult. All right, so this means this last plant is Luna. And when I reached out to the seller to get Willow, I also asked her if she, I also asked them if they had any kind of bluish, greenish tinted hued plants because I have a couple anthuriums that have a blue tint and I wanted another one because I'm in love with it. And there was one plant. So we'll see how it fared in travel or how it actually looks like in person. <laughs> So I think this one might be Echo. So I'm gonna have to go back and clean these off and check. It might be because they are a bit unclean and I'm having difficulty determining, but this is the last one. Now this looks like Luna. Look at that. That's beautiful. Wow. I'm adoring that really hard. <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous. Oh God, those veins just pop so much on some of these. Okay, so I'm gonna go clean these guys up and pot them and then I'm going to return here and show you how they look like. <laughs>
So I hope you all really enjoyed that unboxing. I know I'm super thrilled to have these plants and ah, enjoying walking into my plant room every day just to look at them. So if you like this video, please give it a like. If you wanna see more content, please subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all of you. <laughs>